More Konami news has popped up, though it's not all bad. There's some good support from, from Metal Gear Solid fans. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, Picky Old Gamer here. Um, another Konami video. Yeah, pray you know, shoot me now. You may you may not want to hear this out of me again, but not all bad. There's just some great couple of crazy things that Konami's doing, and I'm not just gonna get in a rage and a bitch and moan, go on to them. But I just don't understand what they're doing. But the third, there's a there's three parts to this, and the third part is a great thing. That some fans are doing to support Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid 5. So, the first thing I've seen, this is over like a couple things popped today, and other stuff just came out earlier this week. You know, that's the, I'm gonna say that one to the end. It, it came out like two days ago, but I saw this on all these, I've seen all these on Kotaku, though, they're on different websites. But Konami is giving away mysteriously autographed Metal Gear Solid 5 posters. Okay, and we all know that Hideo Kojima is not tied to the game. They've wiped him off the face of the earth, so to speak, when it comes to Metal Gear Solid Five. Blah 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 blah. Though, you know, though somehow, if you know, you're going, they're looking at signed posters you now. I was reading this article. Hideo Kojima loves to sign stuff. Every other game he came out, there was public signings he loves to sign stuff for fans and I don't know I mean like Konami, uh, Kotaku is saying and I get quote instead Konami a company that sometimes releases video games is holding a raffle on its online shopping site for those who purchase the steam download codes of the Phantom Pain or Metal Gear Solid 5 you have a chance to win a free win a life size bionic arm from the game you know just like Snake has in the main game, and I quote, an autographed poster, and they put that in quotes. The fine print does not clarify who signed them. Uh, and I like this little blurb on Kotaku, autographed by who? Hideo Kojima, the voice actor Akio Atsuka, by Konami founder, you know, I can't pronounce that name quickly, I'm sorry, but who? You know, I, I get, I get that. You're going to get an autographed poster. Um, why the secrecy? Uh, why now is there autograph poster? I'm thinking it's going to be Hideo Kojima. I mean, why not? It's Metal Gear Solid V. Um, the big controversy who, you know, he's the main guy who developed it and made the story. And if it was nobody, it was somebody else, they probably would put the fucking name out there, don't you think? Is it that... <sighs> requirement is that big that big of a requirement from Konami to I can't say his name it was something I had this thought before I made this video sat down to actually record this video did Kojima order threaten or tell Konami do not say my name again you know the watching Alpha and Mega Sin's channel uh, he talked about the uh, uh, Angry Joe interview he had with Konami and they said we can't say that can't say his name is that Konami or is that Kojima at telling them then fine don't put you know you can't do that I don't I think it's Konami I think they're just being douchebags about it but this is weird you're gonna get an autograph poster by who I don't know this is you know this is just kind of nuts and I don't know where they're going with this stuff everybody's like retweet tweeting all over and sending tweets all over Twitter saying who signs it who's gonna sign it and nobody's answering uh, crazy. Um, and the next thing, this is actually pretty, sh just shows their stupidity and their utter madness, is Konami is pulling 31 mobile games in Japan off iOS. 31. Um, they're not going to update them to support iOS 9 or there, but, you know, but they're also they're going to have them pulled. Uh, I was reading some comments below. People, uh, like people were saying, one person asked, "Does it even cost them anything to actually just leave them in the store?" 
I don't know. Somebody, you know, comment below on this, you know, this video and say, does it cost anything? Maybe. But 31 games, I'm looking at Dance Dance Revolution, uh, Metal Gear Solid Touch, Silent Hill The Escape, Silent Scope, UU Cannonball, I don't know some, uh, I, know, I know some of these, a couple of these things popped out, Bomberman Touch, Bomberman Chains, Bomberman Dojo, uh, and you know, there's a lot more here I've never heard of, Haunted Pitch, Shooting Watch, never heard of them, but in the article here, um, and the gaming business, Konami is making the most money from its free-to-play games, such as World Soccer Collection S. These apps, it seems, are not free-to-play. So, Konami Carpet Bomb is going to Carpet Bomb 31, I guess, not free-to-play games to make way for the free-to-play games. So... That makes no sense. I mean, I guess they're going all in for their, you know, this is where they want to go. But Pachinko Machines and free-to-play games is the way it's going. So they're just going to, you know, rip this stuff out. It's, you know, Silent Hill Escape, they've been great. I, I did, I'd like to see that in the United States in a mobile game. I actually would probably buy that. Um, but it's kind of interesting. They're killing... Again, Silent Scope game, or Silent Hill games, and, Metal, and they're killing a Metal Gear Solid game. I know they're a mobile game; they're not the same, but I don't know. This is just weird. I know they want to go and do their their own thing about. They got a hard on for the free to play games, microtransactions. They think that is the fucking bomb. They're going to do better instead of you know keeping on Kojima doing Silent Hills, more Metal Gears, getting Team Silent together again, then doing you know even more Silent Hills past that, or just how about doing some more Castlevanias? How about doing some Contras? Oh well, that that makes no sense. That makes no sense. sorry. I'm actually trying to make sense of Konami, but. This is weird, you know, they're trying to give out, so two things here, they're giving out, uh, giving away free signed posters of Metal Gear Solid Five that nobody knows who it is, but it's a secret. It sounds like they're just, you're trying to use Kojima for one last thing, and now, are going hog wild and killing all 31 of these, these non-free-to-play games, because they're going for the future. But, it's weird. I don't know, this is just weird, it, it's just Konami craziness. They're nuts. Um, but this is a good thing. I'm ending on a good note. It's Australian reseller sticks it to Konami. This is the article. Um, basically, you know, the JB Hi-Fi uh, is, is a store down in Australia that sells video games. I've never heard of them before. So, um, so what are they doing? Um, they're putting out really cool handmade um, displays of Metal Gear Solid 5, and it looked like you could buy it, but it's pre buy. A Hideo Kojima game. <laughs> That's badass. They got the big poster there. They got, you know, in stores, you know, September 1st, 2015, you know, Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain. And it says, I'm reading here, Kojima himself retweeted the original post and has taken on life of its own. Um, the particular photo was in JB Hi-Fi in Chatsworth, Westfield, but it's merely one of many. JB Hi-Fi stores throughout Australia are taking up the calls. There's one, two, three, four, five, and they're even... Doing the Kojima, you know, Productions Fox symbol. People are taking it and really doing good. And, you know, I, I've watched people or read people's comments that go, well, Kojima leaves, it won't matter. They'll make more Metal Gears and they'll do fine. You're, you're nuts. You don't know what you're talking about. People know who made Metal Gear Solid and it's Hideo Kojima. And this shows it. Right here, right? It's, oh, they won't know. People are too stupid to know. Seriously, gamers know what the hell is going on. They know, they start liking a series, they're going to look on the box and go, ah, this this dude or this woman, whoever made this game, they're awesome, they know what they're doing, and when they go, they leave, they know that 
that it's not going to be as good. You know, I'm getting, maybe getting a little off subject for it, but this proves that people know what the fuck's going on. Gamers get get it, and they're going to support the people who make these games, and they're going to say, screw you to Konami or any company that does that does bad by their developers and people who create these awesome games. So I read all this, well, it doesn't matter. People won't know the difference. You're nuts. You don't pay attention. It's your opinion, but I think you're completely wrong. So, yeah, that's some Konami news. Two crazy little things, like, I don't know where their head's at, but it's good to see some really cool, um, really cool fans and retailers are just saying, fuck you, Konami. It's still a Hikideo Kojima game. It's awesome, and we're going to let people know. So, I appreciate everybody that watches. I've gotten some more subscribers. I appreciate you. I thank you for watching and putting up with my ugly mug every time you, you tune in. Um, leave me some comments below. You still think Konami's batshit crazy? What about people supporting? And you know, follow me on Twitter and just uh, stay tuned for more Pikio Gamer. Pikio Gamer.